talking to you guys about painting. Now, uh, I heard quite recently uh, an art critic said that all painters endlessly paint self-portraits. Well, I can assure you that this picture here of these hooligans has nothing of me in it except the subject matter which I wished to record because I am vehemently against the base nature of man which is to be a bully, which is to be uh, aggressive, uh, nasty and hooliganism is a manifestation uh, of a continued uh, trait that man has. Uh, you know, we go to war uh, all the time. We're doing aggressive things. Uh, I'm not doing anything aggressive at the moment because I don't feel aggressive and I try to fight, or I have all my life, to fight the base piece of my nature which is nasty. Like all human beings, we're not a very nice creature or animal. Uh, this little guy here, Buddy, my little dog here, is a far nicer creature than I am. Um, so, however, uh, I put this on the easel for really for the humour of it, uh, because um, although I finished painting it, and I can pretend for you if you like that I'm painting it now, uh, maybe this is a self-portrait. I was with a lady for uh, many years, quite up until quite recently, up until about 18 months ago, and uh, this lady was the antithesis, antithesis of everything I am, basically. I'm bohemian and anarchic, and uh, if anything, uh, very, very left-wing in my social views. But this probably uh, is me digging into my uh, subconscious, um, probably the preposterousness of, of uh, poshness and upper-classness, and all of the um, odious things of the class society that we live in in this country uh, are manifest here, the, the sort of ancient Persian rug and the, the old antique chair and uh, the way the pictures are framed with the light over here and the uh, uh, necessary uh, flower display, all the things of the bourgeoisie, I suppose, which um, <laughs> all my life... I've never really wanted to be <coughs> anything uh, or everything but bourgeois. Um, this uh, picture I explained earlier is, is a, a manifestation of how much I loathe uh, this society. But um, it, speaking of cartoons, here's another cartoon that I painted. And this is... I think I can set it on the easel for you to see. This is a genuine painting done in the style of a cartoon. It's called, uh, in Spanish, it's titled in Spanish, Mujeres como heroinas, women as heroines. And the picture has in it uh, Betty Boop, olive oil, uh, perhaps I'll use a paintbrush because it's probably more apposite, uh, Wonder Woman, this is a, a, a porno uh, uh, star in uh, comics in Spain, so it's not known in this country. This one, Pitufa, she's also Spanish. And uh, these people are Muslims. Uh, and this painting was inspired by um, seeing on CNN many years ago, I, I painted this, uh, I think, in 1995, I think it says there. Uh, I updated it a couple of times. Uh, it's one of mine. Uh, it's in my own uh, possession as well. I mean, I've never attempted to sell it to anybody. Um, it, it, it was based on a woman in um, Chech uh, the, the Chechens, in Chechnya. She was on camera being translated, saying that she had to uh, duck bullets uh, just across the road uh, to buy bread. And I thought, what an extraordinary thing to have to say that you have to uh, duck bullets uh, to buy a loaf of bread, uh, especially when these were uh, normal peasant people. Uh, so uh, the representation is uh, here of Soviet uh, authoritarianism, the big uh, sort of faceless, 
uh, bureaucratic building with, with darkened windows, uh, the mayhem of, of war behind uh, the dead body here in the, in the burnt up car, these two women running away. This woman uh, uh, over uh, count, using the, the, the worry beads to count over the, the grieving over the dead body, which is obviously a, a younger man than her, so it's probably her son. And um, of course, the ever present in the world today, the Kalashnikov uh, rifle, which she's carrying, okay, uh, and the tears. Um, and maybe also she's a little bit of a Madonna, if you like, a Virgin Mary. So there's, although it's, a, uh, it's featuring a, a Muslim people, it's probably, um, uh, I personally am an atheist, uh, so there's no Catholicism or uh, Muslim in me, but whatever inspired it was this woman crossing the road to buy bread uh, under gunfire, which I found absolutely extraordinary. Yes.